Hey, it's Angelique. Happy Friday. So how's it going? Are you looking forward to the weekend? I know I certainly am. In fact, we're getting ready to head out on a, a bit of a camping trip this weekend. We're heading out with my brother's trailer to Trouser Lake. We're gonna hang out with some friends over there. I'm actually having issues with that. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but the thing is, we're gonna be leaving this afternoon, so tonight, there's a good chance that everyone's gonna be drinking and eating all kinds of crap. Tomorrow, we're gonna be sitting by the lake, pretty much doing nothing, chit-chatting and drinking all day. And then in the evening, what we tend to do over there, I don't go very often, but when we do, we all get together and everyone kind of brings their food and we have this big potluck and, and there's, you know, when we talk about potluck, we're not talking about, you know, oodles of vegetables and salads and things like that. I'm talking like cheese and desserts and nachos, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm, you know, I'm really, it's kind of really struggling with that because I've been on this elimination diet for the past, I think today is day 25. So the first 21 days, I eliminated things like a corn, soy, eggs, dairy, gluten, sugar, alcohol, and I haven't been having coffee either. And then after the 21 days, I added in the coffee just to test to see how my body would react to it. So far, it's done pretty well. And then after three days of that, I added in, what did I add in? Eggs. Right now, actually, I'm testing eggs. And so far, so good. I, think, I don't think I have any issues with eggs. So that'll be a good thing because tomorrow morning, my husband is doing this huge breakfast in the camper. He's gonna be making eggs and bacon and, and sausages and toast. Well, I won't eat the toast, but you know, there you have it. But my big issue is with the alcohol. My husband's already packed the camper with two big bottles of red wine, which is my all-time favorite. And it's like the thing to drink when I'm camping. Uh, what else did he put in there? I know he's got all this beer, but I don't like beer, so that's not an issue. But what I did, because I knew this trip was coming, I did what I tell my clients to do. I planned ahead. So what I did was I have this paper here, and on it I wrote down everything I'm going to eat from tonight until, I guess, Sunday morning. So tonight my husband is going to make chicken brochettes, and I've got all the fixings for salads, and he's going to make broccoli too, so that'll be all right. In the evening... Oh, I don't know. Because listen, I've been doing this thing for 21 days. Actually, it's day 25 now. I've lost 10 pounds, actually 11 pounds as of this morning. I've lost two inches on my waist. So I know when I'm sitting there tonight, I'm going to be asking myself, do, is it really worth it? Because I don't know about you, sometimes I think, well, if I don't drink, I won't have fun. Or I won't be interesting. Or I'm going to feel left out or maybe I just won't have anything to say. You know what I mean? And it's, it's gonna be hard because I know that the people I'm gonna be hanging out with, they all drink, whether it's Bailey's or, oh yeah, and they're shooter pushers. Come on, just have one, just have one shooter. Come on, everyone else is, and then my husband's drinking too, but then I know, I know myself. I can't have just the one glass of wine or that one, even that one sip because that bottle is gone. I'm just gone. So I'm going to do my best. I'll check in with you on that on Monday. I'll let you know how that goes because I have really have no intention of doing Facebook Lives up there because first of all, there's no Wi-Fi and the cellular is kind of iffy. So I'm going to, I'm going to do my best. But like I said, I do, have, I do have stuff planned out. I have 12 cans of mineral water, which I'm going to drink out of a wine glass so I can at least feel like I'm drinking. So that's all right. What else am I going to do? Oh, um, so my meal's planned out for tomorrow, uh, for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going, I'm, I've already packed chicken that I've already cooked. So that's, I'm just going to cut up and have that with a salad. And what else do we have? Ooh, yeah, I'm bringing my own coffee because I only drink organic coffee because, you know, coffee beans can be really toxic. And yeah, so I'm gonna bring my cherry tomatoes, I'm gonna bring my sauerkraut, and I've made sure that for the potluck, I've already prepared a huge tray of vegetables so that I know that when I get to that potluck, there'll be something that I can eat. And what I'm planning to do as well is instead of focusing on what I can't have, no, I shouldn't say can't, that's an awful word. What I 
what I'm not going to drink and what I'm not going to eat, what I'm not going to partake in, so that I feel really proud of myself when I go to bed, I'm going to focus on the people I'm with. I'm going to focus on listening to what they have to say and really build deeper connections with them. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to resist the cheese and the crackers and the wine that my, brother, my, my husband has already packed. So what are you going to do this weekend to stick with your health and wellness goals? Because I know that people are going to tell me and even tell you, well, why, you, why would you start doing this in the summertime? Well, is there, is there ever a real time, a good time? Because if in the summer there's barbecues and there's weddings and there's all kinds of things going on, but then the fall there's Thanksgiving and there's always a birthday party. There's always something. And then the holidays arrive and oh, well, it's Christmas. I'll start after Christmas. And the next thing you know, it's January and and you know, and nothing is done. You're in the same place, you're stuck in the same spot. So I'm gonna stick with this. I'll check in with you on Monday and let you know how it went. So in the meantime, have a great weekend. Think about your goals and think of why those goals are important to you. And I'll see you on Monday. Thanks to everyone who tuned in. Hey, Walty. Hey, Walty. Hey, Wally. Salut, René. Hey, Wendy. I miss you guys. Bye now.